take this bull over here too. This is going to be their new home. They're going to be like newlyweds. It's going to be delightful. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Ostriv, and the town is getting bigger. We have expanded over to this side of the river, sort of to the left here of the main town. We've slapped up a new house. We've got a small new farm, just a couple of fields. Nothing crazy going on over here, just a couple of fields, and we are building the Church of the Even Holier Potato, the big church. Don't need it, but don't got one, so we're building it. I wanted to, now that we have so many production facilities in place, I wanted to make sure that we have people to staff them, and I know I'm pretty sure I got a lot more builders than I need. Yeah, I probably don't need four builders, uh, you, whose name I can't pronounce, I think we can probably get by with three. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to fire you. But good news, good news, I'm going to open up a post in the counselor's position. Maybe you could fill that. It's just moving from one desk to another. I am going to turn on seasonal hiring. I have no idea what it does. Uh, oh, we don't actually have a counselor yet. But when we get a counselor, I'm going to turn on seasonal hiring. I have no clue what that does. But people are saying, oh, you should get a counselor and all of this stuff. So I've, I've got one now, or I will when somebody applies to the job. It may be possibly not until harvest season. A lot of people are whinging about food variety. So I don't think we're going to have any immigration right now. Although that being said out loud, what exactly is stopping us? No housing. Okay, so theoretically somebody could move in if they had somewhere to live. Well, how would you like to live over by the Church of the Even Holier Potato. It's a fantastic spot. You can live over by this farm, get the fences to snap nicely like that, uh, right about... Ooh, yeah, I know we'll need to remove some trees. That's fine. Go ahead and slap that down there. When you guys are done with the Church of the Even Holier Potato, put down a new house over there. It's going to take you a while. It's a lot of, lot of walking to do to get the stuff over there. But we've got our nifty new bridge, if that helps. I wanted to readdress the idea of cows. Because as we've said many times before, the cows are the best off things, man and beast, in this town. They have the largest and really almost infinite supply of food in that they'll eat hay. And hay is really, really easy to make. So what I'm thinking is, it's not going to happen now, because the cows aren't old enough. We have, uh, let's see, a one-month-old bull, we have a newborn bull, and we have a couple of younger cows, girl cows. So I won't be able to breed any new ones if I move them right now, but I'd like to tickle that idea along. And I'm kind of thinking, maybe a new cow, oh, but if I do a new cow shed over here... That's a heck of a long way for the slaughterhouse guy and the tannery guy and all of those folks to make their way over here. I should probably keep it a little more centrally located, especially to the slaughterhouse. I don't know how heavy an adult cow is, but I'm going to guess pretty heavy if you're moving it in a wheelbarrow, which this guy does. So just to be nice to him, I might put a new cow shed up Somewhere around here, I just haven't earmarked a spot yet. I'm going to let them get on with the Church of the Even Holier Potato and the new house, and then see where we're at then. You know, I say they've got an infinite supply of food. The horses eat hay, too. I just saw Sparky, who works in the horse place here, come out and grab some hay from, well, the hay place, the hay stockpile here. Why don't we set up? It's not going to hurt. Why don't I set up another one of those? What is that? Production? Uh, yeah, give me a hay dryer right, oh, I don't know, right right here is fine. And maybe another one of the hay holdy things where, where you, where you put, put the hay. Hay barrack, that's the idea. There we go. You can go live right by the horsies over there. That should not take them long to do, although it is another thing in the queue there. How are we doing with the uh, Church of the Even Holier Potato, kids? Oh, it's taken a while, isn't it? Wow, that is a lot of wood for something that I absolutely, positively do not need. They have no interest 
in religion at this point in the development of an ostrich. Uh, ostrich? How about an ostrich? Um, there's a messenger. Hang on, hang on. There's a messenger. Can I steal anything from you? No, you've really got nothing kicking along here, and you're not interested in very much either, so I'm gonna... I'm going to skip that. Thanks for stopping by the town, but I think we'll take pass on that. Have I made any new cows yet? I have not. No, they they do breed a little slowly, don't they? How are the pigs doing these days? What do we got kicking along? We got a lot of pigs. Yeah, we got a lot of pigs. Oh, ooh, a bunch of you are going to be bacon very, very soon. Now, that being said, that being said, I've got two older pigs, girl pigs, that I've been kind of meaning to maybe unprotect because I don't want them dying of old age and I don't notice it. So how about we protected this girl pig and we unprotect the eight-year-old pig? Again, I don't know how long pigs live in Ostriv, but it can't be forever. And I don't want to end up with no adult female breeding pigs by accident. So We'll just kind of, um, unfortunately let the old lady of the pigsty here go to slaughter and a younger, more, I don't know, fertile girl pig will take her place. Now I'm just going to be a little mean to people for a while. The comment section has been decrying my statement of I refuse to get out of debt and I stand by my statement. There's no real incentive for me to do it. Ostriv offers me no win scenario for getting out of debt. So I don't care that I'm 13,000 in debt. It means nothing to me. But I will fidget with people just to be a little bit mean and kind of play around with some pluses and minuses down here. So how about guys you didn't make as much? How about you only made two per month? But, um, I don't know. Uh, er, it's going to jack up the rent, but I don't want people to move out. I don't know if they'd do that. They might. I mean, I would. I absolutely would. Can I Can I set my my market product price? Can I say my stuff costs you more? I wonder if people will be unlikely to buy it. I'm going to see what happens. Let's see if the next trader who shows up wants anything that we've got and see if he'll pay 120% for it. I don't know. Now, what else could I be messing with around here? Uh, what do we got going on in the wheat field? It's growing. Okay, food is happening. These fields over here, actually not quite as much fallow as I thought there was. There's some stuff growing in there. That's good. This one's doing fine. How's farm number whatever this is over here? Okay, food is happening. Food is happening. Speaking of food, I wonder if we could float a fifth chicken coop. And my, shorter ans my short answer is, why couldn't we? Well, actually, I say that now. The reason we couldn't is we're pretty much at full employment. Everybody's got a job. I would probably want to see some more people moving in before I floated a fifth chicken coop, because we know what happens. Nobody works there, Therefore, nobody brings food to the chickens, and the chickens all die. It's happened about half a dozen times in the series so far. And while I'm thinking about chicken coops, I'm going to go into another comment that came in about eggs. We may not be producing as many eggs because the chickens are being sent to slaughter rather quickly. So just for this one chicken coop, I'm going to let them max out. You can have 30 adult chickens, and then chicken 31 will be chicken nuggets. That should be... A little bit more eggs ticking in, which helps with, obviously, food and food variety. I notice less people are whinging about that now. Have we have we gained food somewhere? Did me, me, oh, was it the pigs? I bet it was the pigs. Yeah, it was the pigs. Okay, the pigs all just got slaughtered. I, th I think we've got about five whole pigs that are now bacon and ham hocks in the market somewhere. That may have helped with that. All right. Very good. Have I made any new cows? Oh, I did. Oh, yay. Uh, I've got a newborn cow. And I've got two bulls that are not oxen. I could put up another cow shed and stock it with this bull and this cow and then just let them go. They're not going to produce anything. I mean, in terms of other cows, they'll produce some waste product after they eat all the hay, but they're not going to produce other cows for a while, but they can kind of get settled and get started. Kids, how is the Church of the Holy Potato coming? I'm kind of regretting doing this now. It is a lot of resources. It is a heck of a lot of resources. 
and it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. I mean, that's never stopped me from putting down useless buildings in a game bit before, but I'm just saying we're sucking up a lot of time here building the church of the even holier potato uh, rather than, you know, a new house for somebody. I could pause it, I guess. You know what? I'm actually gonna. They can build that in the winter. When there's nothing else going on, they can build that in the winter. I'd rather get some new people in here because it's harvest season already. The wheat is coming in. I should put things over here like a storage area and a granary. That would be probably a wicked good idea. I already like the sound of that. If I wanted to, yeah, let's throw yet another building on here. If I wanted to put a granary here for food storage, because you know what? If I put it over here, the fish guys could use it too. That would not be a terrible idea. So if I could get you to live right there. Oh, come on. Don't give me uneven terrain. I really want to put this here. Oh, you're not going to let me do it. Okay. How about, ooh, I don't know, around here somewhere? You want to let me do it there? Oh, oh, I just had a spot. I just saw you had a spot. Hang on, hang on. There it is. There it is. A little, bit, little more? No, a little less? Boom, right there. Okay, so this farm can use that granary, and the fish guys can use that too. It does just say food. It doesn't necessarily say dry food. I think they can put fish in there. I'm pretty confident about that. Now, should I also put up a storage who's even what's it? Short answer, maybe. Long answer, let me see what happens when they've got everything built that I need to have them build. Oh, we got a counselor over here. Okay, somebody applied for the position of counselor. All right, um, counselor, manage seasonal hire hiring. I don't know what it is that you do, but it sounds good. It sounds like we might get some extra labor around here, around planting and harvest time, which would not be a bad idea. I mean, these three folks are desperately trying to pull all this wheat out here. I probably made that field a little bit too large, but I just wanted the two fields. I just want this to be sort of supplemental to the town. This house is just shooting right up, which is great. I'd love to see. We're up to 117, shooting for that 150. 150 is the mark I'm looking for, but 117 now and a new house is about to be built and it's harvest season, which means we should be great on food and food variety. What's your problem over here? Soil is exhausted. Okay, that's fine. Go to, uh, go to fallow then. Don't, don't bother me with your troubles. Oh, we got another new cow too. They're doing better than I thought. All right, so we've got two newborns here. Let's see, that's three and six, but two of them are protected, so we're not... Okay, I think... Once they get done with all of this, I'm going with another cow shed. The house is up. They're working now. Oh, they're back to the Holy Church. Did they? Did you guys already do the granary? Because I, I still see this is paused, kids. Did Did you wanna? Did you wanna maybe work on the granary that I that I asked you to do? I really appreciate you guys bringing materials into there. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Finally, using up some of this stone that we've been sitting on for ages, but. It's kind of a luxury item, although I will put another graveyard out there. That'll be cool. I'm going to do that now because it's fun. Uh, get me to uh, religion. Is that? Yeah, burial plots. There we go. Uh, we can have a nice graveyard out in the woods here. So get me a few more of those. Going to make this one look a little haphazard. Over there and over there. Who doesn't want to live next to a graveyard? Oh, you are working on the, on the granary. Excellent. Good good job, guys. Good job. You must have just been bringing materials if you had nothing better to do. I don't know. But anyway, you're getting this done now. That's obviously going to require another person to work there. Oh, a messenger's coming. Great. Let's see if I can steal anything from you. Wow, you don't really want anything. You really don't. I might actually have some salo, but I don't have it in export stock because that's for us. Have I made any clothes? Apparently I have not. How about sunflower oil? Nope, not enough to be in the export stock. Just for giggles, I do have that in stock, right? I mean, I can put it in there. Yeah, we could put up to 200 units in there. Apparently, not so much on the sunflower oil this year. I'm still thinking about chicken coop number five. I am. I'm not going to lie about that. I'd also like to get yet another house up. Let's just keep them going. Uh, and you can live... How about... Oh, I don't know. Actually, I say that. Let's try and bring you closer to town a little. Maybe you could live... Ah, don't give me uneven terrain. Maybe you could live right there. 
And have I got a well nearby? Yeah, I've actually got one fairly nearby. There's one right there. That'll be fine. That's all the water you kids need. Okay, granary is done. Now what's going to be over here? Well, certainly wheat. Certainly wheat. Um, I don't know, you can store like 500 units of wheat in here. That seems like an acceptable amount. How about some fish? Because we're going to have a lot of that real close by. And then maybe, what else is going to live over here? Oh, potatoes, because I've got that in that farm. I don't know, you can have like 500 units of potatoes in here. Just put whatever you feel in here, I think. Oh, you're taking materials out of the holier church of the potato and bringing them somewhere else, it seems. You're bringing them to the other house. Huh. You know, all this time I've been playing this game, I've never noticed them doing that, that if they've got a little stockpile over here, like, oh, we're not building this thing anymore. Let's just grab those materials rather than going halfway across the map to get different ones. That makes a good degree of sense. I like that. All right, that's fine. I don't really care that much about the Church of the Even Holier Potato. Is your soil exhausted? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. You can, you can go to fallow. Everybody can be fallow. No, that's not true. Then we'll all starve to death. Well, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to put up a cow shed. I'm just going to be reasonably smart enough not to actually move any cows in until I'm sure I can feed them. So throw that down ooh, right there, right there. And then let me, oh, I won't, probably won't be able to do it until it's actually built. I'll create a field over here that they can eat from a pasture. And then obviously I'll allow them to use any fallow fields they can get to, which will probably be in that farm. Now this will be... Not super close, but the slaughterhouse guy is not a million miles away. And it is close to the tannery and all that kind of stuff. I notice we've made some new pigs. That is very good. I like it when we have pigs, because that means eventually we're going to have bacon. Now, well, these messengers are just not charming me lately. It's the same guy. That's the problem. It's the same guy. He has the same stuff. He's still trying to pass this off on us. I'm not interested... We're fine right now. Come back when I've made some shoes. All right, we've done the village house. What's your, uh, you exhausted? Really? Thought I checked you. No, uh, it's fine. You're going to fallow. I, I will, I will confirm to you. You are going to fallow and get all these out of here. And I'm tossing another clay pit over here just because I realize the other two are quite a ways away. So if they need clay for this construction around this area, that'll probably help them out a little. I wouldn't be opposed to a third forestry department in this neck of the woods because the forestry departments are really far away. I mean, there is one over the river, which is nice, but they are pretty far away from that part of town. I set up the granary to basically do food, really. Wheat, fish, potato, chicken eggs, chicken meat, and buckwheat if there's any kicking around. We do have the chicken coop over here, so it's a pretty short hop to put eggs and meat in there. Now, what this is not near is any kind of market. There's one here. What are you doing, by the way? Eggs, potatoes, and chicken meat, and flour. Hmm. Okay. I would think about setting up another one. I'm just not sure I have the staff for it. I may not have the staff for it, but I will put up a market right here in this little triangle. That looks good. Now, anyone going to work there? Yeah, actually very easy to fill. So what don't we have over here? You know what? Somebody over here should probably be selling firewood. That seems important. You can also put the luxury honey in there if you're so inclined. And how about, uh, remind me, what did you have over here? The two egg, the two chicken things, potatoes and flour. Two chicken things, potatoes and flour. So how about, oh, fish. That would be a good idea. And dried fish. There we go. It's right over the river. You can go over and grab it, or you can get it from our brand new granary. And I noticed the new hay barrack that I put up for the horses is already full. Completely full. The, the horses and the cows are going to be the best fed out of anyone here. They'll long live through Austrip. Everyone else will die off. But the cows and the horses will be here for ages. Maybe the chickens, because they don't eat much, but they do have a long and storied history of having catastrophic die-offs. I see my new cow shed is coming along. That's very good. I appreciate that. I put you on fallow. Shut up. Okay, February and the cow shed is done. Is anyone going to work here? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Definitely use a fallow field and let's add a pasture. Let's get the food issue out of the way first. So what if we said 
Oh, I could kind of back it up to these houses here. That would be very nice. Just look out of your back window and have some nice, peaceful cows munching on the pasture. I like that. I don't have to activate you. You just exist. Okay. So you, oh, you've already pulled food in. Oh, you're, you're a superstar. I'll never be able to pronounce your name, but you've already pulled some hay in there. I should put another hay barracks over here. How far away? Uh, they're not crazy far away from two hay barracks. I mean, I wouldn't mind having one right outside. Oh, there's a messenger. Good, good. Uh, come on in. Ah, you have stuff. Good. Here's the thing. I need to steal all of your salt. I don't seem to have very much of it, and my tannery guy is kind of whining about it. Have I made any sunflower oil? I have. I made 200. You know what? I will pretend that this is going to chip into my debt. There you go. 200 sunflower oil. I've got a grand total of 36 for that. Thank you so much. Did I make any clothes? I did. I made 100 of those. I will sell you 100 clothes. There you go. Shoes, how'd we do? No. And that's because I think the tannery guy's been kind of out of action waiting for salt. Uh, you will buy some charcoal. Oh, I don't have any in export stock. Right. Yeah, I kind of took that out. They would buy 800 of it. Somebody in the comments section meant, like, go charcoal, go charcoal, go charcoal, because it's wicked easy to produce. Yeah, you know what? I will actually put that back, because we make thousands of units of it, and it, it basically costs us nothing, really. I will put back, what would I take out? I'll take out the leather, because the leather should be for us. It should be for our production facilities. So we'll put back in charcoal, and you can have, I don't know, uh, 2,000 units of charcoal. There you go. Have all of that. And if we're going to do that, we may as well put up another charcoal pile. There's no specific reason not to if I can find a spot for it. How about right over here? Yeah, it, it's like the wheat. It costs us, not the wheat, the hay. It costs us all pretty much nothing to make except some labor. So if people are going to be willing to buy it, I guess I'll sell it to them. You want to come all the way to my town just to buy some charcoal? That's fine. I should get another house going. I should... I'm going to get another house going, and then I'll uncue or unpause the Church of the Even Holier Potato. Water is right down the street. Don't whine at me about that. I'm going to put one right in the woods there. They'll come and take those trees down in no time. It'll start to kind of knit these two sections of town together here. Oh, I wish this wasn't uneven terrain. I'd like to flesh that out a little bit. Maybe another, I keep saying I'm going to put another stone mining camp here because there are stones literally right there. And then I sort of never do. So here we are. Now, how are we doing? You have hay and you have water in there. Not very much. How can the hay reserves be less than a month? There are no animals here. But we've got another house going up. That'll be some more population. I'm going to, this is where it's all going to go wrong. How do I get my cows over there? Now that I'm looking at this, how do I make cows go over there? It's not like the chickens where I can just pull a couple over. Huh. I seem to have stumbled at the first hurdle of extra cows. I'm not sure how to make the cows go somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, okay. If I drag them from the list and drop them on a cow shed, okay, well, go over here. The chicken thing's easier, to be honest. The way that you move chickens is easier, but you... Oh, yeah, look at that. It's got a little targeting thing. Cool. You go live over there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that took. We'll see. And then uh, give me... Shoot, which one did I just move? Oh, yeah, look. They're already on it. Uh, there, there's a cow centaur weird thing going on here. Um, there you go. Okay, now you're now you're on, on clipping from each other. That that looks so much better. Okay, yeah, you're just leading a cow over there. And uh, you know what? You can When you get back, take this bull over here, too. This is going to be their new home. They're going to be like newlyweds. It's going to be delightful. So go get yourself a bull to go with the cow and really, really work on keeping them fed. Like super work on keeping them fed. In fact, work on it so much that I'm going to put another hay hoozy mcwhats it around there. Uh, what was that? Yeah, a hay barrack. You can have one of those right outside the door just in case. 
Yeah, they're in here. They made it. I'm going to set those guys to protect. I don't think they're going to do anything. I think they're going to have to be over a year old, both of them, before they're going to do anything, you know, that adult cows do. But they're there. They exist. And that gives us a little more breathing room here. We can get up to our seven population limit and then slaughter them and make them into leather and make them into shoes and make them into steaks. It's all going to be a good time. Well, except for the cows. It's not really a great time for them. And I'm getting a few more people whining about no water. And I'm wondering if the extra population is just too much of a drain on the wells. They're not filling up as quickly. Uh, remind me, water and then a well. How about we put one ah, with the uneven terrain? Grr. How about we put one right here next to the horse place? I think that looks nice. Uh, do we have food in here? Okay, you brought firewood. You have two fish. Two fish. You, 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 that was it. You got two fish and said, yeah, that's probably enough fish. I'm sure that's plenty of fish. I am going to let them finish these two things. Then I'll unpause the Church of the Even Holier Potato unless I feel like making a new house because they just finished this one and people have already moved in there. Excellent. Looks like you guys may have been here before. You might have moved out of somebody else's house because you look like newlywed kids. Good for you. You work in the boatyard. You work in the market stall. Oh, somebody just died of old age. Uh, good. We've got some new burial plots up by the Holier Potato Church. And I think it's time to take this older cow to slaughter. I will protect this cow and this bull. And yeah, do that. Do that. I'm going to, you're, you're just, you're real old. You're real, real old. I'm not going to put you on slaughter. I'm just going to let you live out your life until somebody comes along and kills you. It's pretty much the guy in the slaughterhouse that's like literally his job in town. But I want to kind of keep younger animals coming through. Speaking of which, how's the pig situation? Yeah, that, that girl pig getting on in years. I like the four-year-old boar. That's good. We do have one girl pig coming up the ranks. Okay, okay, I'm going to leave it as is for right now. I wouldn't mind one more younger girl pig being protected. How about this one? Okay, and then take you off protection. Just get a fresh crop for breeding in there. And you know what? I'm going to throw down another well on this side of the river too. I just watched somebody go all the way over to this well to get water and then come all the way back, all the way across the river to, I don't know, do whatever it is she was doing with it. So water may be an issue. We have maybe a population where the wells are not filling up quickly enough so maybe more is better. That's my thought. I've got them back working on the Church of the Holier Potato, and I'm not happy with it. Although they do almost kind of sort of vaguely have all of the resources in there. I, I, I vaguely regret this. I kind of do. It's just sucking up a lot of time and resources when we could be building more houses or something else. But it is a building I don't have, and I am very susceptible to those things. How are the cows doing? Oh, they're doing great. They're out in the in the fallow fields, munching away on the grass. Good job. Nobody's actually put any hay in the hay barracks, but that's that's okay. Oh, there's a messenger. Do you have anything I would like to steal from you? Have we made anything you want? Do I have any dried fish? Not a one. Have I made any clothes yet? I have not. I'm not selling any leather, obviously. A uh, horse tack. I've got one. That's for the horse. I don't. I don't think you can have that one. Sunflower oil? No, no, okay. Yeah, it's kind of an odd time of year where nothing has really come in for the production people. Do I want anything from you? Meh, I don't want to buy any charcoal for it from you, I can assure you of that. No, I'm I'm pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'll steal all your iron because I don't know where I'm at with that, so I may as well rip you off. What I really need is the river trader guy to come by, because we've got some good stuff in that trading post. We've got some shoes in there. We've got some sunflower oil. We have a whole bunch of charcoal if they're interested. I need the river guy to come by anytime. That's where all the good stuff is. We haven't really filled up the other one after we sold the last batch of stuff. How is... Oh, God, the church is finally being built. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good. Well, I'm going to queue up another house then somewhere. Where are we at on population? 128. Not too shabby, I think. I'd like to... I don't suppose you'd let me put a house over here. Would you? Is that uneven terrain? Yeah, it's uneven terrain, isn't it? 
oh, come on, let me have it. I want to put it right there, sort of maybe in that neck of the woods. No, no, that, that ain't going to work at all. Where am I going to put a house? I guess I could kind of keep going in this direction. It is stretching further and further away from anything vaguely useful. And you won't let me put it here. No. Oh, I could kind of get it there. That will really mess with the pathing, but they could kind of learn to cope. Um, yeah. How far can I stretch it? Right there? Perfect. Done. Sold. Lock it up. Oh, somebody else died of old age. Oh, well. You'll enjoy the new Church of the Holier Potato, then. Now, I see we've got a couple of new cows kicking in. One at one month and one at four months. How about the other kids over here? Nothing new, but you are both over one year old now. So I'm pretty sure you should be able to start breeding. And I see they filled up the hay barracks outside, too. Good. How much food do you have? Seven months. Excellent. And you're not even using it now. You're out in the pasture. Well, not in the pasture, but you're in one of the fallow fields. So you're not even depleting that supply. Wow. Church takes a long time. I mean, I say that. It's only been about two game years, and that's pretty remarkable to build a cathedral. Usually those take generations, but here we are. I'm going to throw in... That's that's not what I wanted. I'm going to throw in a couple new smallish fields for this farm, because I'm going to set the fields that exist right now to go to fallow. I know you're not activated. We're going to work on that right now. Uh, wheat, perfectly acceptable thing for you to be doing. So it's August. They're not going to start planting. I know sowing season is over. That's why I put it there now. Now, I'd like to get another one, please. So give me another field. Could I possibly squeeze this into here? Just about. I'll make that a little bit longer for no readily explainable reason. And you can go right there. There, there. Come on. There we go. Close enough. Uh, you can be, ooh, I don't know, buckwheat. Everybody likes buckwheat, I guess, and activate that. So those two will start flying next year, and then I'll put these two to fallow. Harvest season is here. The church is finally almost done. Finally almost done. Okay. There it is. It's finally done. The church of the even holier potato finally has has been completed. It's It's been a while. It's been a few game years. Now, you don't actually do anything, do you? No, you just sit here. You sit here and look pretty. Oh, there is a messenger, though. I will check that out. What's uh, what's your deal? Oh, you're the boring messenger. Yeah, okay. We don't... You don't really need to come by, dude. Like, don't even bother. We're You don't have anything, and we don't have anything that you want. So, you know, it's not really working out, I guess. How's my cows doing? Doing fine. Okay. Animal check here. What are you, exhausted? Yeah, okay, we can solve your problem. Just go to fallow. Thank you very much for stopping by. Pigs, how we doing? Oh, we're going to get a big crop of bacon soon. Real big crop of bacon coming in shortly. And how's my uh, my older cows here? Oh, we got another newborn cow. Yay! Oh, what did I set the livestock limit at on the new cow shed? Because I do not know. The answer to that question, I also can't find my new cow shed. There it is. Town's getting real big. Ah, uh, yeah, 20. No, I don't think so. How about, um, we don't need 20 cows. How about we said five? How about just five cows? That'll be just fine. I don't know if they count or discount the protected ones when they're figuring out the population. So if I had three more cows in here, would it be cow number six that would then become steaks and leather? Or would I need five? plus the two that are protected, because they'll never get slaughtered. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but that's probably an excellent place to call it on Ostriv for today. 129 on the old population. The Church of the Even Holier Potato has been constructed. They're working on a well. They're going to work on a new house, and we're going to have more cows than we had before. So an excellent place to call it for today. Do continue to let me know what you're thinking of Ostrov in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this circle nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them!
It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.